people and welcome back to another big BTS Friday and as it is the beautiful, the amazing, the wonderful, probably one of the best voices I've ever heard on this planet, V's birthday, I thought we could do something special for big BTS Friday. Something I don't usually do, this is quite rare for me, we're going to do a double bill reaction. Usually I only do one video so I figured why not for V's birthday do a double bill reaction for big BTS Friday as well, it's, it's simultaneously links up, it's perfect. So. He recently released a new song which everyone has been talking about and I haven't heard yet, I haven't reacted to, I haven't, I haven't checked out at all anything to do with it and that's it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas and I've heard such good things about this and with V's Tay's smoky jazz voice I'm really excited to hear this cover and also a song that a lot of people wanted me to react to for a while now Winter Bear. I figured we could do both of these in one. It's still winter, Winter Bear kind of fits and then uh, I guess the new year's coming so we can still, we can still react to some Christmas songs right? Anyway. Sit back, relax, get comfy for Big BTS Friday. Don't forget to subscribe as well because at 300,000 subscribers, I'm going to give one person a thousand dollars. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. And let's jump into my first time every action to BTS's one and only V with his songs, Winter Bear, and it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. literally not even a minute into this song <laughs> it's just like it just reminds you oh man how did they find him where did they find me where did they find this voice this smoky smooth v has a voice every time he sings i literally just imagine myself it's like pouring down with rain or something i'm walking through new orleans i stumble into like a jazz bar and i look up on stage and i just see this beautiful korean man standing there just serenading the whole audience like that that's where my mind goes like a an old school smoky jazz club does anyone else feel that looks like a winter bear your sleeves are pearly i wish you could night could night could night could night could night that absolute When you have vocalists with this level of talent, all you need is that acoustic guitar, don't you? That's literally all you need. It opens up with the acoustic guitar, V comes in, sings over it, and it just melts your whole soul inside and out. But then what are they going to add? A violin! Of course they're going to add it! They're going to pull at your heartstrings with that emotional instrument coming in as well. So it's going alongside his voice perfectly, and then the drums picking up as well, just to add a little bit more funk to it. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Whenever anyone talks about these solo songs, Winter Bear is always one that comes up. It's one that I've been dying to hear. And man, the range on this song alone, from his higher notes at the chorus to his lower, more smoky jazz notes that we've, we just know and love him for. What an incredible performance from him.
work out all the cities he's gone to. One of them looked a lot like London. Uh, this, I'm guessing, is New York that we're looking at a second ago. Um, Amsterdam was one earlier, right, with the river. I recognize that. Um, how many cities were featured in this one? Does anyone want to let me know? Um, did, did V go to all these cities for this music video? Or was he doing like a, taking a break and doing a tour? I like, what's the story behind the creation of this music video? If someone knows, can you please let me know? Um, cause I'd actually, I'm actually really curious. I'm really curious about it. The street he's on right now looks a lot like London. I'm pretty sure that's London. It could either be London or a French city. I'm not sure. Um, but based on the parking sign, I'm fairly confident that's London. Oh, man. I just keep thinking, like, BTS just seems impossible. Like, the whole existence of this group just seems impossible. When you really think about it, it just, it just seems impossible. How do you have seven of, like, the most talented individuals in a group? They worked as hard as they did. They created this superstar, bat like, group, band, whatever you want to call them. Took over the whole world. And now they're on this, like, hiatus. We've got Jin, who's enlisted now. And it, it just seems like a dream. And it's so new to me. I I'm new. Like, I only started this BTS journey, what, seven months ago? Like, I don't know at what point I stopped considering myself Baby Army. But I don't feel like... I, I feel like I still am. Like, there's still so much to learn. And it just seems like a dream. It just thought it, it just thought it just seems crazy. It's, it's like how can they even be real? It, it's nuts. I I hope one day I just get to see them live. I get to see them in person. I can. I'm, I'm man. I'm gonna cry like a baby every single one of their songs. <laughs> And it, oh, there's more. Oh, ah, oh, Tay. Ah, oh, and also, they're all so damn good looking as well. It almost seems unfair. <laughs> they're all so damn good looking. Like, all of them. All of them are just stunning, stunning human beings. <laughs> they, they just are as well. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. I do apologize as well. Um, I'm not too, I'm not feeling too well at the moment. I don't know what's wrong with me, so I might look a bit like puffy and stuff. Um, I'm, I'm just feeling awful. I, I, I feel like, I don't know if I'm run down or something. I've had a break though, so I, I should be fine. I don't know. I just feel really awful. So I'm also a bit more, my emotions are a bit more heightened. So it doesn't take much to set me off at the moment. So you might see a few more tears on the channel than usual, <laughs> which uh, we didn't even think was possible. But yeah, you might see a few more. And this is the first, like, uh, is this the first BTS video I've recorded since I've been back? If so, how was your Christmas? Did you have a good Christmas? And are uh, you looking forward to the new year? Um, have good, some, some good holidays or just a nice weekend? How is everybody? How are you all doing? How are you all doing? Uh, tomorrow we'll get back to, uh, not tomorrow. Next week, we'll get back to the Run BTS episodes. I want to continue that series. We're going to do all of them. Don't worry. I know some people are waiting for episode... Uh, is it nine run next? So don't worry. It is coming. Um, I'm looking forward to checking it out as well. Oh, man. Tay. Tay. The cool thing is we can see, like... So I think the Winter Bear was, what, three, four years ago now? So we can listen to this one he just put out recently. Um, I would have reacted to it straight away, but I didn't know it was coming out. And also, I was taking a break when this song came out. Uh, it's good to just spend some time with the family. But... I wasn't going to miss it. And we can't wait till next year for me to listen to this one. So why don't we jump into it right now? Let's do a double reaction for Big BTS Friday with Tay's song, It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas. <laughs> It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go 
Take a look at the five and ten It's glistening once again With candy canes and silver lines that glow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Toys in every store But the prettiest sight to see Is the holly that will be On your own front door I've never heard V do this sort of song with his voice Ever Um, And what I mean by this is this old fashioned singing style Which is, you know, only equivalent to like Michael Buble Who I'm not a huge fan of um, but I like, I can appreciate his style, but I'm not a huge fan of Michael Bublé just because I feel like he does the same style for every single song and he's got hundreds. Um, but that style, that like old fashioned style is incredible. We saw it with like Frank Sinatra, for example, someone I am a huge fan of. Um, and seeing Tay sort of replicate those sort of old fashioned notes is something I haven't really seen before, but now it makes so much sense because his voice is like naturally old fashioned as well. I'm always saying it reminds me of like an old fashioned jazz artist. And this is just literally perfectly starting in with everything I've said that he has with his voice. This is this is amazing. Carol Happle and Pussin up your soul, does your sister wish your party and Ben? The dance and a talk and a go for a walk is the hope of Janice and Jen. And mom and dad can hardly wait for school to start again. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go There's a tree in the Grand Hotel One in the park as well It's the third kind that doesn't mind the snow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas so Oh man! <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is incredible! Hearing him do these old fashioned style of song putting his hood up the cute little Only Tay could literally make a song Make a cover of a Christmas song standing there in front of a microphone low quality camera in I'm um, uh, like well, I'm guessing one of his bedrooms or um or, or a hotel room or whatever Just like like what I mean is how raw this is how raw this is only 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 he could do this This is incredible Look a lot like Christmas Soon the bells will start And the thing that I make them ring Is the carol that you sing Right within your heart Ah, it's the duck eye! Does Tay have like a lot of love for jazz music then? Does he have a lot of love for jazz music? Because I can definitely see the inspirations in his vocal style. And uh, I'm starting to wonder if he does just have a lot of love for old school jazz music. Is he a Frank Sinatra fan? This is too much cute. This is too much cute. Cuteness overload. Cuteness overload everyone. It's too, it's too much cute. Too much <laughs> That is... That was too much. That was cheating. <laughs> you can't go and do something like that. That is cheating. That is not fair. Ah, oh, he's so cute! <laughs> so damn cute. Oh. oh man, the little doggy kisses at the end. Anyway, let's get back on track. Let's get back on track, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh man, I know Christmas is over. When I'm recording this, I think it's the 29th today. Um, but I always feel like you can sort of celebrate Christmas anytime from the 25th to New Year. Like that whole week, that period is is the Christmas week, in my opinion. A lot of people, it's the week leading up to Christmas. You know, what? I say both. I say both. Both weeks. Anytime in those weeks, you can celebrate Christmas. I mean, sometimes you don't. You're like away. You don't get back till later, and then you celebrate it separately. Some people celebrate it on Boxing Day. Which, for anyone who doesn't know what that means, that's the day after Christmas. Because I only recently found out that not the whole world, like, um, Boxing Day is a, um, <clears throat> more of a British thing. Where I thought Boxing Day was, like, the whole world. 
And for anyone who doesn't understand, in the UK we have Christmas Day, and then we have Boxing Day, the day after Christmas. Um, uh, and yeah, it's just, and basically they're like the same thing. It's like a continuation of Christmas sort of thing. In the US, I guess you guys would call it a um, a national holiday, but here in the UK we call it a bank holiday, um, which basically just means you, you get a day off work. Um, but yeah, uh, so I would say like the day Christmas Day hits, 25th of December, any day up until the 1st of January, that's Christmas to me, right? That's Christmas. So it's still the 29th of December when I'm recording this video. That's Christmas to me. It's fine. Um, and I didn't want to wait till next year to react to this. Everyone's been talking about it. Every single bloody person. Whenever I'm live streaming on Twitch, people are like, have you heard it? Have you heard it? I'm like, no, I haven't heard it yet. Come on. <laughs> like, you would have known. Every reaction. I don't, I don't listen to stuff off of YouTube. I keep it all on YouTube. So you guys can join me on every reaction I do and I record. Otherwise, it's, it's pointless. I want every reaction to be genuine. If I just like binge listening to stuff off of YouTube... You guys would get ungenuine reactions, and you'd see skips in like my fan uh, creation or whatever it's called. For example, if I listen to one song by a band, love it, go away, listen to a whole album, come back and listen to another song, that's not technically my second song I've reacted to. You're gonna have someone who is way more developed in understanding the artist and um, and in my appreciation of the artist in general. So my second time reaction is gonna be very different to my first time reaction. So that's why I um. I do everything on YouTube. I don't want you guys to miss out. That's also why we have Twitch, so people can recommend stuff over there. But anyway, man, I love Tay's voice so much. Ah, oh, it just melts my whole damn soul. And it's just incredible. When you hear his solo stuff, you can see how much he leans into this, like, deeper style of singing that he has. This, like, natural ability to sing that he has. Um, with that fantastic voice that he's got as well. And his solo stuff, I really feel like it just shines. You really get to hear it. But even with um, Winter Bear, and even it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, that's not all he has. He can't just do these these lower tones. It's not his his only skill he has when it comes to his vocals. Tay, just like so many of the other vocal line in BTS, has incredible range. Amazing. And we saw that a lot in Winter Bear, more so than it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, although we did see it a little bit in the song as well. But in Winter Bear, there was the, especially around the chorus, there were definitely moments where he hit these higher, uh, more difficult notes, and they were just incredible and so effortless and just beautiful to listen to and it really shows that even with a natural deep voice like Tay has especially when it comes to singing that he can easily switch it up if he needs to and it just it really does showcase his talent absolutely incredible and a beautiful voice to listen to and I'm glad that we did this for big BTS Friday it, it just I mean it's coincidence Tay's birthday falls on a big BTS Friday, so it makes sense to do a double bill reaction. Usually with any of the BTS members, I always do a reaction to one of their songs, but I figured we'd do two just because it's big BTS Friday. Hopefully you guys are all happy with this and you all enjoy this reaction. Because um, I'm just loving this so much at the moment. And please keep the BTS recommendations coming. Please keep filling up that comment section of other BTS, other K-pop songs, other artists in general you would like me to react to. I plan on, I plan on listening to it all. So the only thing that's going to change is what you guys want me to listen to next. So please fill up the comment section with songs I'm missing out on, solos I'm missing out on, artists I'm missing out on. Let me know. Fill up that comment section. And whichever one you guys most like, most upvote, is the one I'll react to next. Anyway, I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. I hope you have an even better new year. Thank you so much for watching this video. A happy weekend to all of you and a happy new year to all of you. I really love all of you. I really do. And I don't know what I would, I don't even know what I would be without all of you right now. So honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for making this year one of the best years of my life. And uh, I hope next year we can make it even better for all, for all of us. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And as always, my friends, see me in the next video.